All right, before I get into this video, I just want to quickly say this is another day of double uploads and I don't like to do two videos on the same day. It's not going to be a regular thing. Pretty much only while Madden releases these player ratings because I want to put the videos out on the same day the ratings are released. So I did a video earlier today that I've already released on the best and worst teams in the history of the NFL according to stats. But I also wanted to do this. I made sure to release it quite a lot later so I'm not clogging up your feed or anything. But I also wanted to release this video and that's why I'm doing two today. Hopefully it'll be the last time. Right, as for my top five middle linebackers, I didn't actually have Brandon Marshall in the list. That wasn't in disrespect to him. Rather that my top five I thought I was pretty happy with. So I had Luke Keekley, Navarro Bowman, Bobby Wagner, CJ Mosley and Derek Johnson. Now obviously Marshall fits in there somewhere, so let's take a look at what Madden says. Number one, absolutely zero surprise there, Luke Keekley, 99 overall and deserved, 86 speed, 93 block shedding, 98 pursuit, 98 play recognition, and 89 zone coverage. That's as good as some of the top five cornerbacks. That is absolutely insane, but he absolutely deserves all of that. So let's have a look at number two, and number two is Brandon Marshall, a drop of nine. So the next highest rated is a 90 overall, that's quite surprising. 85 speed for him, 87 acceleration, 91 pursuit, 91 play recognition and 81 zone coverage. So close, but absolutely not close at all at the same time to Luke Keekley's. Brandon Marshall, number two, absolutely deserved. He obviously wasn't in my top five list, but he would have been one of the very next names I would have mentioned. On to number three, Derek Johnson, who was on my list. 90 overall, the same as him there. 81 speed, 96 awareness, 94 pursuit, 96 play recognition. 87 zone coverage. So you look up at Luke Keekley here, he has 89 zone coverage and it says here his coverage skills aren't even close to being matched by another linebacker in the game. And then both of these guys have pretty similar zone coverage. Now of course he could have very good man coverage as well, but in terms of zone coverage, which your linebacker, middle linebacker will be playing most of the time, Derek Johnson's pretty much as good. So on to number four, Bobby Wagner, absolutely deserved. He was missed out of the NFL's top 100 players, which I just couldn't believe. And that's the reason I missed him out of my top 110 players. But he's an 88 overall, so a little bit of a drop there. 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 92 tackling, which is deserved for him, 92 jumping and 91 pursuit. Impressively, he ranks amongst the fastest linebackers in the game. His 88 speed is faster than most tight ends. Number five will either have to be Navarro Bowman, who I think it definitely should be, or CJ Mosley for me to be four out of five. And it's Jamie Collins, so no disrespect to any of the guys on this list, but I would say Navarro Bowman's better than a lot of them. Jamie Collins, who may not even end up playing middle linebacker for the Patriots, who knows at this point. An 88 overall with 85 speed, 92 tackling, 96 jumping, 93 power moves and 91 pursuit. So I said in my outside linebackers video actually that I expected Jamie Collins to be the Patriots outside linebacker that appeared unless he's a middle linebacker, but I also said at the same time then I didn't think he'd make the top five, but he does. So Navarro Bowman being left out is pretty much disrespectful to the guy. I mean, the guy came back from missing an entire season with an awful injury, led the league in tackles, goes to the Pro Bowl and is an all pro, but doesn't make the top five list of middle linebackers. Like I said, that's no offense to any of these guys. They're all very, very good, but I put Navarro Bowman right here under Luke Keekley. But that said, it's still a pretty good list. I'll take it especially considering how bad their list can get. So just leaving out Navarro Bowman, although that is terrible in my book, I'll take. Once again, I'll say it again at the end because I really am sorry about uploading two videos in one day. I hope it doesn't annoy you too much. It won't happen again. I'm pretty sure we're only the safeties left in all of these groups to go. And then obviously the most famous and most popular kickers and punters join me tomorrow where I upload three videos in one day. <laughs>